guys, this is CC Jammer here, and we are going to learn. Well, you're going to learn how to make something like this. So I'm just going to get rid of Bandicam, and here we go. So this is um, a simple thing. So we're just going to goodbye, <laughs> goodbye, and we're going to create a new document, and we're going to call it this YouTube. Uh, we're going to put it on custom. Um, we're going to choose 1920 by 1080. Which is the HD resolution and HD, um, H HD, yeah, and then resolution 72. So we're going to head on and create this. So here we go. My dad looks look like a robber then. Uh, so we're going to learn how to make something like I just showed you. So first we need to create a gradient, which is pretty simple. We just need to add um, a new guide. So we're going to choose vertical 50%, which creates that line. And then horizontal 50%. It's pretty simple, don't worry, you can pause the video. And there we go. So we now have little guides. Um, now we are going to create the gradient. I've chosen some random, um, very random stuff here. If you're wondering what I'm doing, you have to do this now. Get the guides on, then or not, and then double click this and it will come up with new layer name background. Because you see that little lock over here? That stops you from using stuff and it pees me off a lot. So we're going to get our gradient tool and we're going to do that and then we get our gradient. So this is kind of um simple. It's not that hard to do. So um here's our gradient. We can you can make it any color look. We got this. We can we can have rainbow. Rainbow. Oh, oh that's that's just painful. I want my other one back. There we go. So th that is how to create a gradient, which you should have seen. And uh, there's lots of different gradients, like that, or this. So you can have a little star in the top, like mm, sparkly. Or you can have this. Or this. This is weird. I don't get that one. So my favourite is the radius, but you might want to choose something else so quickly let's get ahead and uh, now we're going to add a shape which is pretty simple you can um, do your custom pentagon circle uh, that looks like a hexagon but it's not it's a hexagon polygon hexagon pentagon when you actually use it so there's pentagon po well polygon circle um, rounded uh, uh, rounded rectangle a rectangle and there is a custom shape which I use and um, you can create very cool stuff we're not going to do it in that colour. So we're going to choose black. Then we're going to get it. Then we're probably going to do this. And then you can do like another shape or something. But, um, so we got our little shape. And now we are going to add a little, little, a little bit of light on it. Lighten things up. It's pretty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So there's like a little light, which actually looks pretty decent for a, for a start. There we go. And then we can do this. So you just really do whatever you want with any of these shapes. I'm just doing this out of my head. Pretty much, pretty. I'm just doing that here. So that is our little shape that you could do. You don't have to do this. So now we're going to move on to the text, and you can um, choose what font. I'm just going to do CC Gemma, and I'm going to actually make it black. Hello, I want your dad to lad. Right. So um, we are um, today. I'm going to use a special font that I really do like, if I can remember the name. And it's got sis on the end. Fixed sis, which, oh my god, look at that. It's retro mania. It's just boss. And you can, like, you can do that. You can do that. You can do that. You can do this. You can have it upside down if you're a bit weird. Oh, no, you can't. Yeah, you can. I don't think so. So, we're just going to have it, like, a bit like that on the side. And we're going to make it a bit bigger. 400. Oh, dear. That's that's nice. So to move this, you just sim um, 
simply just do that. But this is kind of annoying. If you create another text like Bob, excuse me, oh, Bob, oh, what? Yeah, Bob. Um, and then you want to move CC Jammer. Well, you've got to go like this. Click on text, then click on CC Jammer. Then go like that. Oh, it's so annoying. So um, yeah, that that is kind of annoying, but. You'll get used to it. I I always have. There's probably an easier way. Okay. So as you can see, we've created a pretty cool um, thing here. So I'm gonna say thank you for watching, guys. Um, this has been a little tutorial on Photoshop and how to use it. And you may have wondered what happened when um yeah when uh it said that little box when I tried to paint. Well, you just it says you must rasterize it, and I don't know what that does, but it does something which makes it look cooler and allows you to paint on it. So thank you for watching. This was my tutorial on um a thing. So I'm gonna exit out of Bernie Care. So thank you for watching, guys. Adios.